just getting ready for a nice simple dinner. Uh, and once again, I'm running a little late for when we like to eat, but that's okay. I'm gonna use the air fryer today. These potatoes are really large, but I cut them into wedges and I toss them in a bowl first with a, a little bit of regular, um, this is vegetable oil. And this is, or two spices. One is the steak seasoning. It's just a generic, like the Montreal steak. The other is just plain paprika. And I'll put a little salt on them because potatoes do deserve a little salt. But I'm gonna air fry these. I'll probably flip them over. And um, just wanted to show you, this is in the Ninja XL Smarty uh, six in one. Okay, here we go. over to the six in one. I always leave it unplugged until I'm ready to use it before and after I plug it in. So I plugged it in and now I'm just with one hand, sorry if I'm wiggling, gonna choose the power button. And it asked me, what do you wanna do? Which one of these functions? Well, I would like to air crisp, so I'm gonna air crisp that. And the standard air crisp temperature is the 390, as you can see. And then I'm gonna push start and it'll tell me when it's warmed up enough to put my basket or to put my food in. It would actually say add food. So that's how easy it is. Um, it's preheating, as you can see. And when it gets the temperature, I'll put these in and you'll be surprised how fast these big potatoes will. Okay, it's been about five minutes and so I wanna peek at things and see how they're doing. It sounds like an airplane, doesn't it? Oh, they're sizzling at me, sizzling, sizzling. Oops, I can't reach my tongs from here, hold on. <laughs> okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna flip them a little bit, flip them around. Oh, they're looking good. Okay, so I won't bore you with that part, but I'm gonna flip them over and they will cook through and get a little bit more crisp. Back down at ya, and it just automatically starts again. Time to check on our potatoes. And you know how um, long, fresh, raw potatoes that are pretty thick take, like say in the oven. So I want you to see now, this was a countdown from the 20 minutes. So, you know, minus that much. So let's take a peek. Ooh, baby, they're looking good. Ooh, and it throws off the heat now, doesn't it? Interestingly enough, though, there's not a lot of heat that comes from behind, but I always make sure that I pull my unit out from the place where I keep it uh, in the corner. So look at these. They're getting like crispy and they're certainly getting a little more done. And like I said, they're pretty thick. You know, they're pretty thick. And just a little seasoning. We'll put a little bit more salt on those. I will test them with a, a fork to make sure that they are tender. And if you need a little bit more time, well, just turn it back on, you know? It'll just start right back up again for you. Okie doke, next is our chicken, and we're having fresh baked beans, homemade, and coleslaw, and all kind of good things here for just a regular Friday night dinner. There you go.